Hey there, it's Keith. I want to talk about um, a little bit more about my book, Jesus Untangled, Crucifying Our Politics to Pledge Allegiance to the Lamb. Um, so one of the things that, <clears throat> that I talk about in the book that is a very cr critical thing to understand is that um, one of the dangers for Christians to get entangled with politics is that politics involves really uh, fundamentally, it uh, involves tribalism. And tribalism is something that as long as Christians are involved in tribalism, uh, they're never going to have any unity. And actually, they're also not going to have as much impact for the gospel on the culture as, as they would want or as they should have. Um, I just uh, attended a conference the other night, uh, which was talking about, for Christians, uh, trying to wrestle right now with this political landscape we're in and this issue of, you know, how can Christians achieve common ground? How can we achieve unity? And in that conversation, it was very frustrating for me because the person, the people talking about it uh, kept discussing it in terms of their tribalism. How can we as conservative Republican Christians uh, talk to uh, liberal Democrat Christians? And how can we find common ground with the... And it's like, listen, you're never going to have common ground as long as you're continuing to identify yourself tribally as a Republican or a Democrat or a Libertarian or a Green Party or Independent. or As long as you identify yourself as someone who is within a tribe, there's always... The thing with tribes is there's always an us and a them. And, and so tribalism by nature creates um, conflict, doesn't create unity. Uh, if you want unity, get out of those tribes completely and recognize that you're all brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, Galatians says we are all one in Christ Jesus. So we only find unity if we identify ourselves as followers of Jesus. We have unity in Christ, but nowhere else. Um, so that's, that's a key thing to understand when we want to talk about um, having unity in the body of Christ uh, the way we should have. And hopefully that, that helps you to think about that. I don't know how much time I'm going to have to answer any more questions, but I wanted to continue to do these kinds of quick little videos uh, to get you thinking about this idea of politics and faith and entanglement. Because again, you can't convert a culture if that culture has already converted you. That's why it's so important for us to crucify our politics so we can pledge allegiance to the Lamb. Amen? God bless. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.